I will be reviewing the Critter Tail 1 level pink habitat cage. First off, the water bottle it comes with leaks, and I thought she had a wet tail. So I brought her into the vet and spent $40 in the end for her to tell me it was the water bottle liquefying her poo and making her butt wet. And she was acting strange due to stress, which is normal for hamsters when they are in new environments. So I had to put a bowl underneath to catch the water. I also put in new bedding because it was wet. And as you can see in this video, she's very happy. It's almost like she's playing with snow. As you could see in the last clip, she climbed the bars. Luckily, it's never high enough for her to get seriously hurt, but she does chew on the bars, which is very bad since she could break a tooth. To stop her from chewing on the bars, I covered the bars in olive oil, and that worked for me. Another downfall of this cage is the size, which is 20 inches by 11.5 inches. The recommended amount is 24 inches by 12 inches. And even though it's only off by 4 inches and 0.5 inches, still not enough space as you can see in this photo. With a food and water bowl that I had to place in because the bottle was leaking, a wheel and her hideout, it's just not enough space. Especially since that's not even all I need or want in her cage. And because it's so cramped, she can barely get into her tunnel. So I had to move the hideout forward so that if she wanted to go in the tunnel, she could. Overall, I don't recommend this cage, and the only reason I haven't gotten her in a new cage is to reduce stress by putting her into another environment. But hopefully, I can upgrade her cage soon. Because honestly, she deserves better, and so does any other hamster. Please don't buy this cage. If it's money you're worried about, this cage was $36.99, but I had a 10% off from in-store purchase. So the total for the cage was $33.29. However, you can make a cage for much less and have a lot more space for toys and other essentials. And most people have these bins laying around the house. Just make sure it's clear and they are able to breathe. When building the cage, I recommend you put the wire mesh on the top rather than on the side so your hamster doesn't chew on it. And also, even though your hamster may not be able to reach, I would cut the edges sticking out with wire cutters so they don't get hurt or even so you don't get hurt. Also, even though this isn't exactly necessary if you made a big enough air vent on the top, I still recommend drilling holes on the sides so that your hamster can get scents and breezes from the outside which can make them more familiar with more scents so they can adjust better when you let them roam. And you can make it before you get your hamster and you won't have to stress out about assembling the cage. Because honestly, it was stressful. I don't have a photo of the small cardboard box she was in since I threw it out right away, but it kind of looked like this, and I'm sure she was scared, so I had to set up the cage fast so I could put her in her cage. And I didn't measure the time, but it seemed like maybe 10 to 15 plus minutes. Also, when I went to put her in, the panel door was kind of small so it was difficult to get her in because she was scared and kept going to the back of the box. So again, I recommend you make a bin cage or even use an aquarium tank, but the bin is cheaper and in most cases bigger. And I'll be posting more cute hamster videos, reviews, tutorials, and educational videos in the future. So if you want to see more, subscribe and like if you want to. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions on hamsters or anything, comment below and I'll be sure to reply. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.